children, uh, her very first children's book, A Pigtail, Here's Olivia Newton-John. Yeah! Olivia Newton John, Fan oh, Club pursues. Oh, so sweet. Isn't Thank that nice? you. What a nice welcome. Oh, you gosh, they got like my oldest oh, record that. I ever made. The first album I ever made. Yeah, I think Where do you get these things? I can never find them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't remind me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Say, where are you from? Australia? London. 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 You came all the way here to this show to see Olivia. I've been here twice already, aren't we? And because I never thought I'd get a chance to see her, and it's by total fluke that when I'm here in New York, she should be here the same week that I am. Oh, you know what? It's so more than nice. a fluke. It, it's kismet the way I see it. <laughs> Very sweet. She's so nice to me. She really made a dream come true for me. And your music really has brought me so much What happiness. did she do for you to make she your so dream come true? <laughs> What's that? She was so nice. What? She was so nice to me. She was really sweet. Haven't She's... I been nice to you too? <laughs> It's nice to have fans like that, but all, all around the world, I guess you've got them. Huh? Do you have a big fan club? Do you keep in touch um, with any? Yes, yeah, they're all here. They're all here. All today. right, okay, okay. I think they're all here. I think you're right. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> That's nice. No, all week long we've That's had fabulous good. audiences, but we've had we have not had the energy in the studio like today. This is different. <laughs> well, well. In, in, in all honesty, I would say some of that's got to do with the piano recital. Yeah. <laughs> They're not did you hear the recital? I did. I think you did very well. Did you? Mm. Did you like that cute little sonatina in C? <laughs> did you ever so play cute. the piano when you were a kid? Um, apparently, my father said that he tried to teach me, and I... I didn't. I said I didn't want to do it. Oh, I really regret that. But yeah, I'm, sure, absolutely. I'm having the same thing with my daughter now because I want her to learn because mm -hmm. I think it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And um, she doesn't like the, the structured part of music. So mm. I'm gonna... let me ask you something because the, you you went on tour a long time ago. When how many years ago was that? The first time? No, no, no. The, when when I was here and I went to see you uh, here in New York, were about 15 years 80, ago. 83 was the last time. 82. 82. They know. They know. Here. Say, we'll take it from here. <laughs> Was that the last world tour that you yes. had? Okay, because then you quit, because you had Chloe, and then you yes. wanted to stay at home with baby. But I remember, I can't tell you how many thousands of fans came out to see it. It was the Get Physical one, right. is that correct? Physical. Is that right? Yes. Physical. Yeah. It, it was. One more outburst, and you're back in London. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe the way the fans reacted. Does this kind of thing want, make you want to go out there again and maybe do another or two? Because Matt, you would certainly get yeah. practically everybody yeah. come to your concert. Does that interest you at all? Well, I have to tell you that this is really amazing because, you know, for the last year and a half, I haven't been anywhere. I haven't, this is the first time I've been in front of people, really. So this really makes me feel choked, actually. <laughs> and, um,. I don't have any plans to tour, but I am going to record an album of my own songs that I've written in the last year um, about my experiences, what I've gone through, and my growth, and about the environment, and Sounds I'm kind like of excited doing, about that. Sounds like you're doing a lot of writing, books and books songs, and songs, huh? Yeah, good for you. Mm -hmm. Do you kind of hold up by yourself and do this? Well, I went to Australia for six months. My husband did a TV series out there, oh, and uh, I was on the farm, on my avocado farm, yeah. so I was really just being a mum and, and taking care of Chloe and I got very um, connected to the earth again because it was a beautiful, beautiful place. It was just green rolling hills and there's a rainforest right behind my house. Mm. I mean literally, mm. here's my house and there's a rainforest. So I kind of felt that there was a reason I have this property. I'm going to reforest a whole lot of property there. Is this where you grew up? No, it wasn't actually. It's, I mean, I grew up in Melbourne, Melbourne, which is about a three-hour flight from there, but uh -huh. this is a beautiful, beautiful area. It's all farms. Uh -huh. Is Matt still and, um, working there, or is he here? He's back. He's, he's back now. What do they do, an Australian soap? Up yeah, there? he did an Australian soap. Yeah. Paradise Beach. Are there anything <laughs> like uh, the soaps here in this country? Oh, you saw that one too. Um, I think it's on in New York in the morning. Jersey. In Jersey? Jersey. 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 <laughs> Jersey. 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 <laughs> and uh, no, he had a good time doing that. Oh, okay. Is he going back to... to um, I don't know if he'll go back. He wants to do films out there, so hopefully we can... Do half and half. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Okay. I feel great. Yeah. yeah. You had a little 
little problem last year around I this did. time, didn't I you? I did. But I have a clean bill of health. I feel very pleasant. <laughs> It's a decision too, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm I am healthy and I'm strong, and I think you all. And it's a lot to do with what you believe, and I feel really good. Well, you've always been a positive person, mm -hmm. haven't you? Mm -hmm. And that helps yeah, a lot, doesn't yeah, it? The attitude. Yeah, but a lot, you know, with with everything that happened with with um, with uh, you Colette. Know, with Colette. We, and, yeah, you know. no, it's wonderful. This book I've dedicated to Colette, yes. who was my daughter's best friend. And she died of cancer two years ago. Hmm. Yeah. So we started with the one girl you're kissing yes, is Colette. Uh, the little girl I'm kissing yeah. is Colette. Chloe was in a bad mood that day. <laughs> <laughs> and Colette was a wonderful little spirit, and um, her life was not without purpose because we've created a fund in her name, Colette Tudor Environmental Fund. And what we're, we're doing is to raise money, and we are uh, doing research into the the rise in cancer in children since the 50s is like 21 percent it's the leading killer of children is children childhood cancer isn't that incredible and it's um we think it's linked to the environment nancy the mother she was always very much into the environment she was before she got she was, sick but she you, feels there's a connection yeah. so we're yes. doing research into the you know for instance in in school and home there are 300 carcinogens that children that cause cancer just in the environment so we have to change legislation to protect our kids mm. really so that's what that's our focus all right, can we take a break and when we come Please, back we'll yeah, talk some more great. about a pig tail. That's the magic of Olivia Newton John. Tomorrow on Live with Lonnie Anderson. Also, football great Terry Bradshaw. At Levin Furniture, we'll do all we have a lot of your fans here. Some guy brought three dozen roses. Uh, they brought albums. And I want you all to know that Olivia will sign them all right after, you know, she leaves. And they'll be here waiting for you. Now, now, here's one of them. I mean, <laughs> who is this vixen right here? Huh? I was very young. How old were you here? I was about 19. I made a movie called Tomorrow, which someone was holding up the album. Yeah. And um, it was actually it's probably it's very funny now. It was about a group. I was in a group. They put the group together, the same people that did the monkeys put us together. Uh -huh. And it was three guys and myself, and our music was so wonderful that these aliens came and took us up into their spaceship because we were going to help their planet. <laughs> wow, heavy and, uh, plus. It's pretty, Is this a yeah. video now? <laughs> I wish it was. Yeah. It's, it's really They'd quite run out funny. and get it right away. So they, what yeah. happened to you up there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it was great. They, they, they kidnapped you, huh? <laughs> they did. Of course, Greece, you know, will always be... Um, and, our Fame, all time and they're favorite. bringing it back. They're doing it on Broadway. I know. You know? Yeah. It's, it's great. Debbie Gibson's playing Sandy, and it's interesting that the boy that's playing Danny is Australian. So it's almost like the roles are reversed, you know, mm -hmm. these years later. But he's well known out there. So mm -hmm. no, it's exciting. It's, yeah. it's just it's great music. And it's still it's the great greatest score, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh gosh, we play it all the time at home. It's, it's, it's really a lot of fun. So Olivia, mm. a pig tail. Yes. I love the, uh, the illustrations, The illustrations, too. you know, the illustrator and my co-author are sitting right in the front row. Oh, is he? Did Selma a great Doka job, Pal. and Brian oh. Hurst. Yes, yeah, she really did. Did this book with me. Right. Ray, Ray. That's Brian, and next to him is Sal. Now, what did you do? How do they do this? Do you write the script first and then they illustrate it? Yes, in fact, Brian and I wrote this together. We're friends and it was, it was kind of a, a funny thing that happened. I told him a joke one day about pigs, pigs looking at humans, because we're always calling, um, I was thinking that maybe pigs, and you know, we're always calling people pigs, and I thought, well, how do the pigs think You're of that? You're always it's calling people, people pigs? You know how nice. Pigs. <laughs> nice, Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> you know you're saying, oh, he's a pig, he did this, and I thought, really? well, how are the pigs reacting to this? <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe the pigs look at us and go, oh, those humans, you know. Yeah. So this is really how it started. Uh -huh. Pigs are very smart. They're you know, very they're smart. The they're the smartest pets. Funny is animals. that why everybody's yeah. calling me a pig? Yeah. I don't know. Because <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> and so um, I told Brian these jokes, and it started out, at, um, we, we went in all these different directions, and one night we were at a differ function, which is an AIDS benefit, and I happened, luckily, to be sitting next to the... Um, the uh, head of Simon & Schuster who said to me, if you ever write a book, and I said, well, I, uh, have I got something for you? So um, yeah. I you told him, right I should, that yeah, one, I, <laughs> <laughs> you should never have said that. So anyway, we, just, we send it into the book department and they helped us develop it into this That's really nice. simple story for children and yeah. it has a really lovely message. And the, the thing I'm most excited about is that it's the first book they've ever done on recycled paper because, you know, you know how many, I feel terrible, but the waste of paper there is. Well, it's <laughs> quite time that Simon and Schuster did that. Are you going to be more? Are you going to take these pigs on different yeah, the adventures? Yeah, going on journey. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Great They're idea. All, all right, place. a pigtail it is. <laughs> Olivia Newton-John, thank you very much. Okay? We'll be back in just a moment.
Tuesday Online, actor, comedian Harry Anderson, and TV news veteran Linda Ellerby. Money. For her work in television, she's done everything. Now she's bringing one of television's best-loved characters to the big screen. You've all heard about it. Here's a look. 